Women on average live longer than men, so their retirement can last a lot longer. But because they often earn a lower income than men, women are very often in worse shape financially when it comes to preparing for retirement. Corey Wagner, head of research at SeniorLiving.org, recently published a study which compared older women and older men on preparing for retirement. Now, in this exclusive interview, you'll learn all about the retirement planning gender gap, where the older women feel prepared for retirement when compared to men, and what differences are research found between the sexes when it comes to financial concerns, talking about money with family, and much more. Hi, it's Jeff Hoyt, Editor-in-Chief of SeniorLiving.org, and today I have the pleasure of speaking with one of my colleagues. It's Corey Wagner, and she is the head of research at SeniorLiving.org. Welcome, Corey. Hi, Jeff. Thanks for having me. Well, thanks for being here to talk about some of your research. So very intriguing research that we now have on the website is about older adults and comparing women to men when it comes to retirement. So overall, do women feel prepared for retirement? Yeah, that's a great question. So we found in our research that women, older women were twice as likely as older men to feel very unprepared for retirement financially. So yeah, women are not feeling as prepared as men in their age group. And we specifically surveyed older adults that were um, 60 or older. And we also surveyed their children who were 18 or older. And are we set out to kind of compare older adults to their adult children in terms of their financial attitudes. But we found a lot more differences between older men and women versus older adults and younger adults in general. Interesting. Did your research go into why there were differences uh, between the genders? So we didn't ask questions about why the differences might be there, but we did make some inferences based on some sociological um, conditions, especially ones that may have been more present um, a couple of decades ago when some of the older adults in our research were first growing up. Um, but yeah, older women might not be feeling as financially repaired, prepared for retirement because um, in general, women are earning less than men are. If you're earning less money on the dollar, then you're not going to have as much money to save and earn interest on, um, to earn returns on as you are coming up to retirement. Also, especially in the past decades, women have been taking more years out of the workforce to raise families. So that's also going to contribute to how much money you're um, able to accrue as you approach retirement. So some of those factors are certainly present um, and those things are starting to change. It might not always be a factor, um, but currently those are some of the things that of some of many things that are influencing why women might not feel as financially prepared. Yeah, and based on the work that I've been doing, I'd also add social security to that because if you're earning less during your career, then when it comes time to collect from the government, you're gonna get less from the government. Absolutely, that was something that was also expressed by women in our research. They were more likely than men to feel uncertain about social security. Um, and the future of Social Security as a concern as they approach retirement. Any other differences in terms of financial concerns? Yeah, older women were also more concerned than older men about inflation and rising costs of living. They were also more concerned about running out of money. And that could be because women may need to plan for their finances in retirement to last for more years. Women tend to live longer than men. So they're gonna to have to spread out their money over a longer period of time. So the concern about running out of money might be, that's why it might be more pressing for older women. And then some of these women have partners and some of them don't. If they have a male partner, then because they outlive their male partner, if they're relying on the male partner for support, whether through their work or investments or uh, social security, that might end when they lose their partner. So that's another reason for concern. Mm -hmm, exactly. And. Another difference between men and women was that older women were more likely to have had conversations with their adult children about some of their future plans, whether that was housing or their retirement finances. Now you mentioned children earlier. So 
in many families talking about money finances it's sort of hush hush taboo you don't ask people how much money they make or um uh things like that so were there's any did you find any gender differences in actually talking about money with your family yeah so 72 percent of older women told us they were more likely to have discussed their finances with their adult children versus just 63 percent of older men it's not the most dramatic difference, but there is a slight difference between men and women in that regard. And that may be because older women are feeling less prepared. They might be wanting to bring in more people, um, more support as they approach their retirement years. And another thing that we found was that older women were more interested in collaborating with their adult children in their housing decisions than older men were. And that was very interesting um, because a lot of times when you get to your retirement years, the later retirement years, you're going to have to make decisions about where you're going to live. And that's not just going to affect you. It's going to you know, impact the family. So it's interesting that women were more likely to discuss those kinds of decisions with their adult children than men were. Right. So when it comes to moving versus aging in place, that's always you know a battle um, between you know, having to leave the fan, the neighborhood that you know so well versus you know, um, needing some more care than you can get in your current home. So okay. were, there, were there any key differences between the genders when it came to, uh, you know, making that difficult choice? Absolutely. So, of course, both men and women would prefer to remain in their own homes, according to our survey and other studies. But um, women did express a bit more openness to maybe moving in with their children if they needed assistance than men were. Uh, I don't, that wasn't at the top of anyone's list in terms of preferences, but older women did express more openness. And I found it very interesting that, you know, as a whole, only 11% of older adults were planning first to go to their adult children's homes if they needed uh, live-in assistance. But 22% of these children said they were very open to having their parents come and live with them. So I think that's, it indicates how important it is to have conversations about these topics with your family, because there might be unexpressed, you know, desires or unexpressed, unexpressed expectations about where people might want to live or the openness that some family members might have that you might not even know about. I'm sure some people might feel uncomfortable asking a family member, you know, could I live with you one day if I needed that kind of help? Um, yeah, it could be scary to ask, but that person might be, you know, expecting you to come. So it's important to have the conversation um, based on what we saw here. And if you just go to the stereotypical women versus men, that women talk about their feelings more than men. So the fact that women talk to their family more about money makes sense that way. And it also sort of fits into your other research. I'm sure you didn't get into cause and effect, but if women feel they're not as prepared as men for retirement, then they, it seems like they'd be more willing to talk to their kids about, hey, here's the financial situation. If this happens, will you be able to help me? Absolutely. I felt the same way. Um, there's, like, like you said, not a 100% clear cause and effect, but I think that would make sense why older women would be more open to talking be because they might be more open to gathering, um, you know, building a consensus or asking for outside support if they feel less prepared. Well, I'm always happy to talk to you about these issues. And anyone who wants to find out more about the seniorliving.org study should check the website. I'll put the link in the description below. And really appreciate you taking the time, Corey. Thanks a lot for having me.